But it's cool. Bro, how are you not scared of this, man? <laughs> Two critically acclaimed Oscar hopefuls came out months ago, so their directors are out stumping now to make sure the films don't get lost in the shuffle of new contenders over the holiday season. Way back in February, a little $4.5 million horror movie opened. You may have heard of it. Writer-director Jordan Peele's Get Out scared up a whopping $33 million in its first weekend on its way to a worldwide gross of $253.4 million. Then in July, writer-director Christopher Nolan's $100 million Dunkirk stormed into theaters with a $50.5 million debut, eventually bringing in $525 million worldwide. Get Out picked up a near-perfect 99% positive rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and Dunkirk came in close behind with 92%. So everything's going their way when it comes to Oscar nominations, right? Not so fast, according to The Hollywood Reporter's Greg Kilday, who points out that seven of last season's nine Best Picture nominees were released in November and December, which means that Get Out and Dunkirk are in danger of feeling like old news. With all of this in mind, Peel and Nolan are on a mission to make sure their critically acclaimed films are remembered when awards season rolls around. Before Peel's Get Out, which is a satirical look at racism, could make a serious Best Picture run, it first had to establish itself as a serious movie. In June, the film's cred got a big boost when Peel appeared at the PGA's Produced By conference, where he was interviewed by none other than Norman Lear, who testified, I lose words when I think about how much this man's film affected me. Since then, Peel and his team have been making non-stop appearances, including at the November 11th Governor's Awards, the Film Independent Forum on October 22nd, and AFI Fest on November 10th, where Peel joined a conversation about 1967's Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, to which his film owes a debt. And on November 17th, Universal threw a reception featuring an exhibit of fan art inspired by the movie To Toast Get Out, which has already picked up four Gotham Awards noms. Dunkirk faced a different challenge. Nolan has never been an Academy favorite, writes Kilday. Indeed, he has received only one Best Picture nomination for 2010's Inception, two screenplay noms, and no directing mentions. So while Nolan usually prefers to have his films speak for themselves, this time he's also working the room. In an unusual move, the film crashed the Toronto Film Festival and artistic director Cameron Bailey hosted a chat with Nolan afterward. The director is now appearing at a series of LA screenings. He also made the requisite pit stop at the Governor's Awards and visited the Library of Congress on November 2nd to speak about film preservation. Perhaps the biggest hurdle facing Dunkirk is that the film will lose a lot of its power if Academy members simply watch it on screeners. And so Warners has announced that the film will be re-released on December 1st in 34 markets as a way of insisting that attention must be paid. Will all this work pay off? Well, according to THR Awards columnist Scott Feinberg, as of November 21st, both movies are clear frontrunners for Best Picture nominations. Feinberg's complete list includes The Post, The Shape of Water, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, The Florida Project, Lady Bird, Darkest Hour, Call Me By Your Name, and The Big Sick. Peel and Nolan are also noted by Feinberg as frontrunners for Best Director noms. Additionally, Get Out is viewed as a frontrunner for Peel's Best Original Screenplay and a major threat for film editing, while star Daniel Kaluuya is considered a long shot for Best Actor. For Dunkirk, Feinberg also sees the film as a frontrunner for film editing, cinematography, production design, and original score. Mark Rylance is a major threat for Best Supporting Actor, as is Christopher Nolan for Best Original Screenplay. To read more on Jordan Peele and Christopher Nolan's efforts to ensure their films are recognized at the Oscars, head to THR.com and tell us, do you think Get Out and Dunkirk should be included in next year's nominations, and do you think the big pushes will pay off? Let us know in the comments section. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.